Hi there everyone. Um, right, today we're going to look at uh, finding the nth term of a quadratic sequence. Okay, bit of a mouthful. Um, there's a set of rules in relation to doing this, um, but of course when, when you're looking at a quadratic sequence you might not necessarily know it's a quadratic sequence until you delve deeper into it. Alright, so I'm just going to run through the rules of finding a, a quadratic and then of course I'll go through a, a worked example so you can see what you need to do. Alright, so to find the nth term you firstly need to find the second difference between the terms, half the number, uh, that goes in front of n squared. All right, that's the first step. And then you need to find the linear and the term of the difference between the two sequences and add it on to the n squared term. Whew, that's a bit of a mouthful, so it's quite difficult to kind of um, look at that in isolation without an, an example to kind of go with. So we're going to look at an example and, and we're going to go through what those steps that I've just kind of described mean um, and how you can have implement it in, in a worked example like the one we have in front of it. All right, so... To find the end term, so it's on here, to find the end term, you first need to find the second difference, okay? Well, before we find the second difference, we've got to find the first difference. And what that means is the gap in between the numbers to start with. All right, the gap in between the numbers, if it is a quadratic sequence, um, then they will be different, all right? And that's one way of identifying if it's a quadratic sequence or not. Um, so let's have a look first of all. So what is the difference between them? And you'll notice it's 9, 13, 17, 21. All right. So when you're looking at that difference, what you're looking to spot is to see if that difference between them has a pattern. Okay. And if it's a pattern and it goes up by the same amount each time. All right. That's going to tell you it's a quadratic. And hopefully you can see from here, it goes up four each time. So the second difference is what I was talking about at the top is a four each time. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. So to find the term, you first need to find the second difference is what we've done between the terms. All right. The next step here is you need to half this number. All right. Now you just need to accept that there's loads of kind of algebraic proof that goes with that. Um, by, and by all means, if you want to look online, I'm sure you'll be able to find someone who, who proves it for you. But from 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 our perspective, we're not really that bothered. Um, we're just trying to um, get the marks in the exam. So we're going to half that number. Okay. So half that number, and that's going to give you the value of n squared. All right. So because our value here is four. Um, we're going to half that and that's going to give us a 2n squared and that's going to form the basis of our quadratic nth term all right 2n squared okay so we now know it's, it's 2n squared because of this 4 all right so we're now going to write the sequence of 2n squared okay and um, if you're not quite sure how, how I've kind of put that together what I've done n squared is effectively um, your square numbers okay so 1 4 9, 16, and 25, all right? So I'll say those again. 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. Now that is n squared. But of course, we've got two of them, all right? So when I talk about 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, hopefully you can see that these numbers here are two lots of it, all right? So this sequence, 2, 8, 18, 32, 25, is two lots of n squared, all right? So we write those down, okay? Um, so that's going to form a basis of our quadratic sequence. We are now going to compare this sequence, the 2a18, to what we had to start with. All right, so we're going to subtract these numbers from the original sequence to see what we need to add on. All right, so the best way is, is to kind of write them down over here so you can see them. So you've got 10 take away 2, that's this number, take away this number. Then you've got 19, which is our sequence, take away the 8 over here, and so on and so on. And you can see that I've tried to write it in a, in a way that's going to support, going to make my life a little bit easier. So one above the other. All right, so if I write those out, so that, take away that, that, take away that, that, take away that, that, take away that, and that, take away that, and I end up with this. Okay, so we've got 2n squared already. And now I look at this sequence. Now the temptation here is, is to try, try and repeat what you've done. But this is not going to be, I repeat, not going to be a quadratic sequence because we've already identified this is the quadratic part of it, the 2n squared. So this is either going to be a number or a linear sequence. Well, if I look at these numbers, you can see that they are going up. All right. So this is now a linear nth term. And if you're not quite sure how to do that one, then please look at nth term and, and linear sequences to figure out how to do that one. Um, but what we're looking at here is what it goes up in. And it goes up in threes. All right, so it's going to be 3n. And then what do I need to do to 3 to get to the first number? Then I need to add 5. All right, so that sequence in isolation is a 3n plus 5, okay? The linear sequence is 3n plus 5. 
All right. So what we've got, um, we've got this 2, 8, 18, 20, and 50. And we've also got the 8, 11. Now, if I add these two lines together, then I get this sequence. Okay, so I've got 2n squared from this one, from this one here. And I've got 3n plus 5. So add those two together, um, we have 2n squared plus 3n plus 5. All right, and that is my quadratic nth term. It's quite long-winded. It's quite a process to kind of go through. And of course, the st all the steps are kind of there to kind of support you, all right? This is going to need a bit of practice, I would suggest. So please go to mass-school.co.uk, get yourself logged on, look at some of the exam questions on there. And of course, you can revisit it at any time. All right, thanks for listening.